Hello everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this informational video for your challenge number. My name is Jocelyn and again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. So, your challenge number. Let me start off by saying the word challenge is not a bad thing. This is just something that means that you will have to overcome something, okay, that you're going to be faced with. is to overcome any type of fears, doubts, obstacles within your life. God or the universe will set you up with some type of test so that you can overcome it. So it's not meant to be a hard thing. Life is meant to be easy. So the word challenge, once you can embrace that word and once you can accept what it really means and the true meaning of the word, then you can become highly successful. It's only hard if you are rejecting that word. If you are saying, oh, challenge means, oh, I'm a fail. If you say that, then you're going to fail, okay? So I just wanted to start off by saying that because I know when people see that word, they get intimidated, they get fearful, and that is what a challenge is for so that you can overcome those fear-based thoughts, okay? So this is the only number in your numerology chart that uses subtraction to calculate your number, okay? So you only use subtraction in challenge numbers. And just like your pinnacle cycle number, it is broken up between four different periods. The only difference is with your challenge numbers, it's an approximate. It doesn't have any like specific time frames that you will go through these particular lessons. Okay. I mean, not even say challenges, lessons. So during this particular period, um, the third challenge is the main overall energy. Okay. So let me start off by just saying that. So that is the energy that is going to be felt through the duration of your entire life. Now, your first challenge is approximately, well, it is from birth, but it's approximately will end until maybe about 30 to 35 years of age. And this number is the difference between your birth month and your birth date. So for example, if your birthday is May 1st, you would subtract five minus one, which gives you a four, and that will be your first challenge is a four. Now, challenge number two is roughly, like I said, from like 30 to 35 years of age to about 55 to 60 years of age. So it'll be a, a roughly around that time. And that is the difference between only your birth day and your year. So with my example, May 1st, let's say May 1st, 1990 you will add a one, I mean, I'm sorry, you will subtract one plus nine plus nine plus zero, and that will give you that challenge number. So your third challenge, again, is the main challenge, is the one that you will be feeling throughout your lifetime. So that is the difference between your first challenge and your second challenge. So it'll be the difference. So let's say your first challenge is a four, your second challenge is a two. Four minus two equals two. So your third challenge of a two is going to be felt out throughout your life. Okay. You may have like different tests here or there to learn the, those particular lessons so that you can remember. Okay. This is what you got to have to go through throughout. Okay. Also the fourth challenge, oh, last but not least, the fourth challenge is going to be felt from maybe about that 55, 60 years of age through your departure, through your transition. So it's going to be felt the, the remainder of your life, the, the latter years. And that is going to be the difference between your birth month and your birth year. Only the month, only the year. So in my example, May 1st, it will be 5 minus 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 0. Okay, so you will add the year, but you will subtract that month. Okay, let me get that clear. And then it's no negative number. So you'll just subtract it. So whatever the bigger number is, that's the number that you subtract. Okay, so let's say your birthday is like May 9th. Instead of you saying five minus nine, it gives you a negative four. No, you will say nine minus five is a four. Okay, so there's no negative integers in that. Also, um, if you do have a challenge number of a zero, that is very common. So don't be alarmed by that. There is a such thing as zero. And there are only nine numbers in this particular uh, in this particular uh, lesson. So there's no master number. So even if you do add up to an 11, it, you don't have a master number 11. It'll just be a two. 
So it'll be the numbers are represented zero through eight, okay? Nine is a challenge number, but nine is also has the representation or the energy as a zero. So if you have a nine, you will just look at what zero means, okay? And then that'll be the numbers. Um, and the only reason why that is because nine and zero have like the same representation. They have the same characteristics. So with that being said, let's move on to your challenge number. If you have a challenge number four during any pinnacle, in this particular challenge number, you will learn to build something solid for yourself. You may feel all over the place and having trouble with um, finishing something that you have started. So this challenge number is really, really, I'll say like the tedious, annoying, because it's like you'll have an idea about something and then you'll start it, but then you'll just leave it alone after a while. And then you have another idea, you'll start it, you'll leave it alone. So you may be a person that has like a lot of projects going on that's just sitting there. You may have like a notebook full of notebooks, full of things going on and what you want to accomplish, what you want to create, and it's just sitting right there. Or even just if you apply for a job, you may start the application, but you don't go through it because you read through the application and you feel like you're not well qualified. So in this particular pinnacle, you are going to be challenged to finish something, to build something for you so that you can have that feeling of accomplishment. That is one of the best feelings, in my opinion, is like when you start something and then actually ended it, seeing like the end result of it, it's like, oh my God, I finally did it. And it's a really, really good feeling. So you are going to be challenged with that because you're meant to experience that. But your energy is like all over the place. You may be a life path number three, or you may be a life path number five. This um, challenge number tends to come up mostly for those two numbers, but you can really be any life path number, but you're all over the place. Like you just want to hop, you just want to move because you want to experience different things, and which is fine. Have those experiences, but you got to kind of finish something too. finish something out. Don't just leave it right there. Also, um, during this particular pinnacle as well, with the challenge number four, you try to get rich by not really putting in any work or hard work or effort. You try to get great success by something that is not lasting or not tangible. So I like to say like, this is the particular uh, challenge that you need to be faced with too. A lot of people in, that is faced with this challenge number four, try to get successful by winning the lottery. Like you just want to just put numbers, random numbers in like a slot and just win that way. So you may tend to play the lottery a lot. You don't really gamble, excuse me. You don't really gamble, but you play the lottery. Like all the time, like when it, especially when it gets up to like a really high number, you play it because you want to get rich quick. Or you may do like a lot of like, um, pyramid schemes, you know, a lot of things that say, oh my God, that is really easy. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and go after it because the money is really easy, really quick. And it's like during this particular cycle or with having this um, challenge number, you're meant to actually put in the hard work. It's not going to really come easy for you. Now, it can be easy if you just take the time and um, be dedicated to what you want to do then it'll be easy. You just have to, you just have to mend time. Like you just have to do something. But instead of you always trying to like get rich quick, that's not always the solution. So this challenge is, is known as the hardest to overcome nowadays because there's so many things that will help you get rich. So <laughs> it's kind of like, um, even just being like on TikTok or something like that's pretty quick and pretty easy. So nowadays, this is the hardest because it's we have a slew, a slur of things that constantly is like you can get money here, you can get money here. So it's like when you do plan something and when you do have something that you want to actually create, something that's tangible, something that you can see for yourself that you work hard for it, it's kind of like you leave that because someone has told you about something that you can do to make it faster. So that's why it's the hardest nowadays, like in our, in our generation right now. So, um, 
yeah, like I said, you you will want to go viral and you will think that that will last your entire life. And that's, that's something that's not going to be long lasting. OK, so you have to really be aware of that. Also, be aware of details and contracts during this particular pinnacle. Um, read through everything. Don't just take someone's word for it or what they're saying. That, okay, if you sign this, this means that A, B, and C. No, you need to actually take the time and ask, okay, can I read through this? Read through a lot of contracts. You may have been like, um, like God, you got God a lot with your money, with your time, with your energy, what you thought that you was gonna be signing up for, it wasn't really it. So even for another example, if you um, signed up for a particular job, the job that you signed up for, that you you know signed your name for, has was not the job that you thought. Like the, on the contract, it says like so many different things that you were unaware of. So definitely, if you have this number, um, definitely read through a lot of contracts. You got to read through a lot of details. Four is very detail oriented. It is full of details. Like the little things matter and every little thing put together, it says something, it creates something. So you have to be very detail oriented within this particular pinnacle. Also, um, don't lose track of what's really, really important. Stay focused and don't lose sight of what's real. So like I said, you may have, you may dream a lot. You may have um, a lot of things that you just want to do that's not really realistic. Um, you got to kind of like keep an eye out for that too. I don't know. Um, I can't really even pinpoint just a per uh, particular example, but you just, you just dream way too big and it's like, Okay, no, focus, because you can have those things and you can make your dreams a reality, but it's almost like you, like I said, you 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 put your money in a lot of winning the lottery. That's the best example I can give you guys. It's kind of like you, um, my number, okay, it's like a one in a billion chance you believe in that one, which is fine. Like I said, that's a great thing, but it's a one in a billion. So kind of, Still believe in those things, still believes in the things that are not really expected, but also you have to learn how to like create something solid too. You have to use that unexpectedly, use that dream, that one in a billion chance as a backup and then, you know, complete everything that you want to complete in this particular pinnacle. Four is also the number of formation and foundation. So if you can build it and accomplish it in this, if you can build it, during this particular challenge, you're going to accomplish a lot of things because the universe is going to see, okay, you were challenged to being this hardworking, dedicated person when you're really not saying that you're not hardworking, but you want to find an easy way out. Let me put it to you like that. So if the universe and the God sees that you took the actual time and the actual effort to really create something, you will have a lot of accomplishments during this particular pinnacle.